Good morning, students. Good morning, students. Okay, so everyone, how are you today? I am happy. What is the day today? Today is? Today is Tuesday. Tuesday, very good. Spell Tuesday. T U E S D A Y. Okay, everyone, are you ready? Yes. All right, so this is our topic for this week. Okay, so our topic is human needs for living and growing. Okay, so this is our topic for today. It is in page 20, right? Okay, so this subject is for science grade three. All right, so let's start first with the vocabulary words. You follow teacher, okay? So number one, we have the word living, living. Okay, number two, growing, growing. Right, so we have there letter R, so growing. All right, number three, human. Again, human. All right, number four, air. Again, air. Number five, the word is water, water. Number six, energy energy number seven we have the word nutrients nutrients and right number eight oxygen again oxygen number 10 breathe breathe all right number 10 need need all right, so those are the vocabulary words for our topic today. All right, so I will ask someone to spell. Okay, if I ask you to unmute, please unmute yourself. Shabu, spell the word growing. G-R-O-W-I-N-G. Growing. Growing. All right, very good. Next, I want gone. Okay, Gan, please unmute yourself and spell number three, human. Human. H-U-M-A-N. Very good, Gan. All right, next, Pam. Okay, Pam, please unmute yourself, Pam. All right, spell the word air. A-I-R. Very good. Next, who is the user of Manat Sanan Sanpak? Okay, please unmute yourself, Manat Sanan Sanpak. W-A-T-E-R. Very good. Okay, next, Irene. Okay, Irene, this is spelled number six. O-T-R-I-E-N-T-S. Sardine, kindly spell number eight, oxygen. O-F-Y-D-E-N, oxygen. Oxygen, very good. Next, I want who is Patarnit Nochai. Please unmute yourself and spell number nine. B R E A T H E. Breathe. All right, very good. Next, let's move on to number 10. Okay, mind, mind, please unmute yourself. N E E D. All right, very good. N E E D. D. So those are the vocabulary words of our topic for this week. Okay, so let's move on to the discussion. So uh, please listen, everyone. So let's start. All right. So human needs for living and growing. So to live and grow, humans need food, water, and air. Okay, so without these things, humans will not live well and they will die, right? So without food, water, and air, humans will not live. So we are going to die if we don't have something to eat, we don't have water to drink, and we don't have air to breathe, okay? So that's why these are the things 
that is really needed for us to grow and live. Okay. All right. So again, to live and grow, humans need food, water, and air. Food gives us energy and nutrients. Okay. So that's what uh, the food will give to us. Right. So food gives us energy. Water helps our body to work well. We breathe in oxygen to use in all our body systems. All right. So again, the food will give us energy and nutrients. Well, the water helps our body to work well. And the last one, the oxygen or uh, the air is used in all our body systems. Okay. Foods and its benefits. So what is the benefit of the food to our body? Okay. So let us read. We grow by getting taller and heavier. The food we eat helps us to grow. To get all the nutrients we need, we should eat foods from five food groups and in the right amount. Okay, so to help us get all the nutrients, we need to eat all these foods from the five food groups. Okay, and of course, in the right amount. Okay, so it should not be too much. Just eat the right amount of every food. Okay, so we have here the benefits of foods to humans. All right, so... Some foods build muscles and bones, make the body grow, and repair damaged tissues. Okay, so they are food group one like meats, nuts, milks, and eggs. Okay, so these are the proteins, right? Okay, so it is belong in group one. Okay, so next, some foods give us energy and keep the body warm. They are food group two like rice, starch, sugar, and food group five like plants, fats, and animals. All right. So in group two, we have here rice, starch, and sugar. So these are carbohydrates. I'm sorry. Next, and in group five, these are Plants, fast, fats, and animal fats. Okay, so these are oils, okay, from plants and animals. And that is in group five. Okay, next, number three, some foods keeps us healthy, help our body work well, and keep us younger. Okay, so they are food group three and four like vegetables and fruits okay so under group three and four these are vegetables and fruits okay so again uh in the five food groups the first one the first group are uh protein these are meats nuts and milks and eggs All right next in group two these are carbohydrates which includes rice starch or sugar okay next in group three and four we have vegetables and fruits right and in group five we have here plant fats and animal fats so those are oils right from animals and plants okay next so how to eat and care for the body properly. Okay, so number one, eat the right amount of food from all five food groups. Okay, so again, like what I've said, just eat the right amount. Okay, so next, eat on time and eat three meals a day. So you eat on time and eat three meals a day. So that is the breakfast, lunch, and dinner right okay next eat clean and freshly cooked food okay so you should eat clean next number four 
avoid food with strong taste. Okay, so you avoid food with strong taste. Yes, you can eat it, but a little only. All right. Next, number five, watch your body weight. Do not be too fat or too thin. Again, do not be too fat or too thin. Okay, so you should watch your body weight so, so that you are not going to be going to be overweight, right? Or underweight. It should be normal. Right. Next, so this. That is for the benefits of foods in our body. Now, in each day, we should eat foods from all five food groups. So we will get enough nutrients to make us grow and stay healthy. So the five food groups, group one, proteins. So these are meat, eggs, milks, and nuts. Group two, these are the carbohydrates. So again, these are rice starch, sugar, taro, and potato, All right? In group three, this will give us vitamins and minerals such as vegetables, All right? Next, group four, this will give us vitamins and minerals also. So these are fruits, okay? And in group five, we have fats. So these are vegetable fats and animals all right so those are five food groups all right okay let's move on to number two how about the water and its benefits okay so about two-thirds of our body is made up of water water helps the body to work well so carries nutrients around it and sends out waste from the body okay we can live without food for a few days, but we could die if we do not drink water for a few days. Okay, so again, we can survive. We can live without food for a few days, but without water, we cannot. Okay, because this water will help the body to work well. And this water will send out the waste from our body okay so it flushes the waste from the inside of our body all right so benefits of water to humans so gives us healthy skin right so again drinking water will give us healthy skin all right number two helps the body to use food for energy all right so again will help the body to use food for energy. All right, number three, helps carry nutrients to every part of the body. Okay. The water will help carry all the nutrients to every part of our body. All right, so number four, helps with sending out waste from the body. So again, so sends out waste from the body. All right, next, number five, helps with controlling body temperature. So let's say, for example, if it's too hot, the water will control your body temperature. Next, okay, how to drink water and care for the body properly. So number one, drink clean water with no dirt. Okay, so drink clean water. Right. Number two, drink enough water to fit your body each day. So drink enough water. Okay. Next, number three, drink water that is at room temperature, not cold or hot. Okay. So you just need to drink uh, warm water. All right. Next, number four. Avoid touching wastewater or dirty water. So let's continue. So is everyone in? All right. So let us move on to number three. Okay. So air and its benefits. So we are finished already with food and water. Okay. So the last one is air. All right. So air and its 
benefits. All right. So our body needs oxygen to work well. We get oxygen from the air we breathe. The air we breathe must be clean and good quality. All right. So that is air with no soot, no smoke, no dust, and no harmful gases. If we stop breathing only for a few minutes, we might die. Right? So if we are going to stop breathing for a few minutes, we might die. All right? So it is the most important thing that we need. So benefits of air to humans. All right. Number one, has important gases for the body. Okay, so it has important gases for the body. So it will give important gases. All right. Next, number two, block some UV rays from the sun from reaching us. All right. So the air or the oxygen will block, will block the UV rays from the sun from reaching us. Okay, so this UV rays is harmful to us. All right, and that oxygen or the air will help block this UV rays. All right, number three, control Earth's temperature to make it fit for living. All right, so the air will control. Right, it will control the Earth's temperature. Okay, if it's too hot or too cold, it will control so that it will make it fit for our living okay how to breathe and care for the body properly okay number one avoid being in places with a lot of soot smoke or dust so example near industrial factories okay so you have to avoid avoid these places so that you will you are not going to breathe soot smoke or dust okay Next, number two, wear dust mask when in places with bad air pollution. Okay, so if you are in place with a bad air pollution, you have to wear your dust mask. Okay. Next, okay, number three, avoid doing things that send pollutants into the air. Say, so example, we have burning waste. Okay, so avoid burning waste so that it won't send pollution or pollutants into the air. Okay, All right, so we have here a science fact. Okay, so PM 2.5 are particles with size less than 2.5 microns. These particles are in the air, mixed with other pollutants. They are very small and can easily enter our body through the nose. So they are harmful to our health, okay? So this PM 2.5 is harmful to our health. Health. That's why we should wear our dust mask. So we have an activity in page 20. Tick the things human need for living and growing. All right, so I hope everyone is finished already. So for now, that's it for today. So again, remember to safety first, to stay safe, everyone. Okay, so please take care of yourself and maintain or observe proper hygiene. Okay, you take a bath, keep yourself healthy and clean. All right, okay, so everyone, that would be it for today. Have a good day, everyone. Goodbye. And I also bye bye. bye, -bye.